Right, so talking with Reggae Girls head coach Lon Donaldson as he gives a recap of the two match tour of South Korea and look forward to the upcoming windows. Well, I mean, it's um, we should have scored a couple of goals today, but that's football. So, but just looking at what we came into, okay, you can call it the Korean tsunami, you know, they, 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 it's 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 it's. it's it's good level, some good football, you know. I thought the group we started out today, you know, a very inexperienced group too, you know. Not a lot of full-time games under their, under their belt. And we gave up, a, I would say, a couple of mental goals. So just, just, just not physical stuff, but mentally, you know, appealing for a handball and then the girl hit a great shot. And so... But I think second half we came back and we actually uh, played some good stuff. We switched the formation into a 4-4-2. So some of the stuff we say we wanted to try and look at, okay, at this level, I think it's good. You know, uh, playing top level team and switching out and, and we're right with them, okay. Hopefully, as our defensively we were really good because the goals that were scored were set piece and one from about 40 yard great shot. and. First game was, you know, um, so we didn't give up like goals that they break us down. So I was happy, happy with, with our defensive play. You know, going forward, we could be a little bit more patient and um, a little bit more clinical around the box, especially today. We had some chances, you know, should have finished, but it didn't. So hopefully we can build on that now going into the next camp. And this, um, this, this, this give us another opportunity to look at some more players and for the next two camps. So you would say in summer then, coach, mission accomplished? More than accomplished, actually. Uh, I thought the Koreans, you know, the hotel, everything, they treat us for it's first class. I don't think anybody was expecting the, some of the stuff that's going on here with us, you know, with the Koreans. You know, our translator is Jun, he's an unbelievable guy, okay? I wish I could have him on every trip. But yes, so it was, it's, it's good in Korea, okay? Um, and that's what we want. That's what we want, and I think just uh, just coming over here, I can't imagine them flying to Jamaica and playing us in two games. It would have been very, very difficult for them. But I think our staff, Laurie, Will, you know, the medical staff, you know, Kili, everybody, Alisa, Alisa, everybody just made life a lot easier for the girls. And, and I think the girls, you know, make life easier for everybody. Very, very receptive in what we're trying to do. You know, as I say, we can argue about stuff, but at the end, we all agree. When it comes down to it, we're all in this thing together. So, you know, we're just trying to get the best squad that we can put together for the World Cup. Thanks, Coach, and all the best as you move forward. All right. Um, hopefully, we get a this Miami this Miami um, window. You know, we know there's a window in Jamaica, and, and support supposedly the November window we should be in Jamaica, and then the October window we're trying to go to Miami. That would be great. All right. So we have here um, Bonnie Shaw. Um, captain of the reggae girls and she'll give her views on the too much tour of south korea bonnie let's hear what are your thoughts um on our tour of south korea i mean i think the overall camp was good um i mean the coach in the beginning said that he wanted to use this opportunity to you know see other players um find an identity, find a style of play, especially now that, you know, it's early times um, towards the World Cup. So I think just, you know, coming out here, um, playing against a different style, playing against a team that loves the ball, you know, help us to know that, okay, you know, sometimes we're going to suffer in, in, in different games. And when we're suffering, it gives us an idea of how, you know, we can approach a game. So I just think overall having, you know, coming here and playing against Korea, quality team, team that, you know, loves possession and keeps the ball well, I think it helps us moving forward to then know, you know, what to do when we've come up against situations like this. And um, as we, the coach, 
plans the journey forward? Um, how do you look forward to the next window? What would you like to see? For me, I just keep building, you know, building on, you know, the lessons that we've taken from, you know, this game and even, you know, the tournament in general where we qualified for the World Cup. So, you know, you keep growing and you keep evolving and, you know, learn from the mistakes that, that has happened previously and, you know, moving forward, try to not let them happen again. So I think in the next coming camps, the October and November window, I think those are the the camps that we could, you know, t then test ourselves to see if, you know, we've actually learned from our mistakes.